Hi guys, in this video, we're going to be building a face detection program using Python. So, the requirement for this is that you have OpenCV installed. So, to install this, you just need to come here and type pip install OpenCV in Python. So, this command line is going to install OpenCV onto your computer. So having this done, I already have it installed, so I don't need to do that again. And then the next thing you need to have is this OpenCV XML file. Now this file is, is pre-written and then once we use it in our Python code, it will make it far more easier for us to be able to detect faces using Python. So, and then the only thing you just need to have next is the image you want to detect. So you have an image which will um which the program will detect the faces and draw like a rectangle around the faces it detects so right here i'm just gonna go into my github and then for my github i can just get maybe my profile image or something and then yep so open this a new tab and then i can just drag this into that yeah, and I can rename this to be um, something like image.jpg or test.jpg. Let's name it to be test. So now we have this. Then this face detection.py is a blank file. I'm just going to open that up in my VS code. Right here in my VS code, you see that I have that file opened up. So right here, the first thing we need to do is to say import cv2. Now this command, this line, line of code is going to import the OpenCV which we installed earlier. And then we need to load the cascade. Now the cascade is this XML file which we have here. And then I'm going to link this XML file in my GitHub. So I'm going to drop a link in the description below where you can get this file. So now let's just load that and we can say face underscore cascade. And then that can be equal to cv2 dot cascade classifier. And then let's load it up. So let's just make sure we get the spellings correctly. H A A R cascade. So right here, cascade underscore frontal face underscore default dot xml so let's let's check that h a l cascade underscore frontal face underscore default dot xml so that is correct and then what we just want to do is to import the image also so we can do img this is the image we want to test so cv2 dot i am read and then what is the name of that image test.jpg so we can say test.jpg and now that we have that we need to convert it into a gray scale so the type of color in which this can read is a gray scale color and the image is not gray scale so any image a user input we just want to first of all convert it to a grayscale color so you can say gray can be equals to cv2 dot cvt color and then convert img into cv2 dot color underscore let's say bgr yeah to gray something like yeah this bgr to gray so that's what we want to convert it to now that we've converted it to that color we just want to detect the faces so we'll say faces can now be equals to face cascade dot detect multi-scale and then gray 1.1 comma 4 so this is just what we're using to detect 
the faces now once we've detected that there's a face in this picture we just want to draw a rectangle around that face so we we'll use a for loop and say for x y w h in faces so cv2 the rectangle yep then img we'll say x comma y and then comma x plus w comma y plus h and then outside that we put under comma and say two to five comma zero comma zero like this and then outside that we put under comma and just say two so this is just to draw a rectangle around those faces and now let's just display the output so we can say cv2 dot im show now this is just going to show us the image with the faces detected and a rectangle drawn around the faces and now we can say cv2 dot wait key that means if we press a key it should stop showing so you're gonna see that in a minute so like this yeah so now let's just add one more line and say cv2 dot i am right and then we can say face detected the jpg and then we can give it img so now we can save this and come here and test that so we can say python face underscore detection dot py so as you can see it shows the image right here with uh, a rectangle all around the face so that is how to just build a simple face detection program using python now i hope you enjoyed and understood what we did in this video if you did please don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe but having that said thank you so much for watching and bye for now